When you get your breaker ship, ensure you have your probes and lock range script ready. These are crucial. So I undock and head to the fight, listening in to where the battle will take place. In this instance, I know it will be in five tops at the Planet 9 Poco. So the FC gives the all clear to jump in. I jump in and I warp to a Celestial, giving myself time to drop probes and get set up. I know the fight is happening on the Planet 9 Poco, so in warp, I prep the probes, as you can see here. I drop down to the smallest iteration on the range, the 0.5 AU. I ensure, both from the vertical and the horizontal plane, that the scan sphere is ready. Here I'm prepping to drop a bookmark that is close to the fight grid, but far enough away to be a safe warp out. In this instance, I'm warping directly to the, war the Poco at 100 kilometers. Usually, I would warp either to a Ranger Squad person or um, the Poco at 100, or potentially I'd scan and warp to a, a hostile combat ship at 100. So I've dropped the safe bookmark, and I'm prepping to drop a second bookmark here. This one I'm going to drop immediately as soon as I see a hostile on my overview. Now that I've landed, I'm going to turn around and align out to a safe location. Then I'm going to lock up my targets. Oops, first I got to turn the shit on. I'm going to lock up the targets and get a jamming. Here, there's an Inti burning at me, so I prep to warp to the safe spot. And as he gets to about the 50k mark, I warp out. So now that I know that the Interceptor is both gunning for me and in the way of a direct line back to the enemy fleet, I have to find a new way in. Gotta be safe, and I know he's hunting. So to do this, let's open up the map, and we can see where we are at our safe spot that's close, but we can also see the hostile grid right there in the center of the rings. That's where the hostile ships are. So on the far side of them, there's a moon that we can go to. Most grids have stuff like this. Um, whether it's a gate or a poco or a pos or something like that, generally you'll be able to find warp ins from multiple angles, and that's crucial. Sometimes it's close like this one is, sometimes it's far away, and therefore you need to make bookmarks in warp so that you don't have to fly 20 AU every time you warp out. So now I've scanned, and I'm warping back to the hostile fleet at 100. I've got my close bookmark prepped to drop. I'm prepping the second on grid bookmark. Now this time the hostile interceptor is far away from me, so I've got a little bit of time here to think. So you can see the grid, hostile fleet down by the Poco. And I know that interceptor is gunning for me, so he's gonna come. So I'm immediately aligned out to a safe spot. In fact, the first safe spot that we made on grid. Where he's still patrolling over there, but we've come in on the other side. So we get our jams off on a couple of ships. We've been on grid for a few seconds here. Someone's probably going to be targeting us. There we get our successful jam and we warp out. And coincidentally doing a do, -si -do with the people trying to kill us. And now that resets our jams and we can align out to a new object safely over here and jam again.
coincidentally, this third align out will provide the third warp two angle. So now we've got complete coverage on this grid. That crow's burning in quick, so gotta get ready to go. No sense sticking around. Gonna go prep the warp two bookmark. Warping back to the enemy fleet. The best way, since we're warping from you know a few million kilometers away, we can't actually see if there's any bubbles on grid. So in a prepared situation, you would want to have a couple of 300 kilometer bookmarks on grid. So you warp away to your bounce bookmark, then you warp back to that, and as you're landing on that one, you scan the enemy fleet, so that when you land, you can immediately warp down to the enemy fleet, and you won't get caught in bubbles. See, this warp in, this is part of the problem, is I've now landed beside an object that someone can warp to. So the enemy fleet's 100k away, and they're my jamming target, but their support in the crow just warped in on us, and he's in dangerously close. So it's this situation where we just got to get out. You land, and you get out. Come back in a different angle. So now I know I'm not going to enter warp before this guy gets me, so I immediately overheat my stuff, and I jam him, and I successfully get a jam, and I warp out. Safety first, kids. Don't stick around and die. And that there is a basic overview of how to fly a breaker ship.